Well, on the first Monday of every month, the Plains Art Museum turns down the lights and quiets the gallery sound. So this is for their low sensory Mondays in order to accommodate families who prefer or require a less stimulating environment. That's where we find the Valley Today's Tatum Miller this morning, live at the Plains Art Museum, seeing what goes into these adjustments. Good morning, Tatum. Good morning. I'm here live with the Leitrim McCann and we are in the art lounge right now. This is kind of a space for kids or older people to come and kind of escape. So we've been talking about low sensory Mondays. What do those entail? Yeah, so low sensory Mondays are the um, most of the time the first Monday of each month. Um, and they're from 2 to 5 p.m. We turn down, we dim the lights, we turn down sound, um, we might adjust videos. Um, but then in a space like the art lounge, we might pull down the blinds just so then the light's a little bit more filtered, um, just to really like calm down and quiet the museum space um, for specific visitors that are looking for that. Um, again, it's for everyone. It's not just for people with autism, but it is um, kind of centered around people that are that have some sensitivities to light, sound, things like that. Yeah, so you make these alterations in the gallery spaces for them to feel more comfortable, but you also have some materials right here. Do you want to kind of walk me through what you guys provide? Yeah, so um, this is new. Um, you guys are probably the first people that have heard about it, but we have some tote bags, and you can get these during our sensory-friendly programming. They would be at the front desk, but um, for just your general visitor, they'll be here in the art lounge. It's on second floor. So we'd have the bag. We have headphones that are adjustable for kids and adults. Um, sunglasses, so then you can, um, if there's specific lights that are maybe sensitive, like your eyes are sensitive to, you can put those on. Um, a fidget that you can handle um, so you can get something just to feel in the gallery space where you can't touch anything. Um, and then I also have these weighted wraps that you can put on your neck or just carry them in the bag. Um, and you can take them out if that's something you're not wanting and then just put them back in when you return them to the art lounge. That's amazing. So we have these and then kids can also bring in their own fidgets or materials as long as they're not harmful to the galleries, right? Yeah, so um, we really encourage people to bring their own communication devices, their personal headphones, because that's what's already going to be comfortable for them. So they're not, if you're bringing in those items already, you can just check with the front desk if you're concerned. Um, but really, it's just, you know, nothing that's liquid. Um, it's pretty simple. And you can just call ahead or ask if you have questions about it. Well, thank you so much. When we check back in with you guys, we're going to get into how Fargo is now Autism Acceptance Month here. So I'm Tatum Miller for Valley News Live. Back to you at the studio. All right. Thank you for that live look this morning, Tatum. Yeah, very cool.